It's more now on our top story, the new US-UK-Australian alliance. Adam Leong is an associate professor uh, and deputy director at the Center for Defense and International Security Studies at the uh, National Defense University of Malaysia. He's in Kuala Lumpur. Thank you for being with us. Uh, so let me ask you, first of all, I mean, obviously, the, uh, China has is, is, uh, made it very clear they're not happy about this. Um, but how, how are they likely to respond to this in terms of their actions in the region? All right. Uh, I think China has expressed some uh, worries about this new uh, trilateral, uh, you know, uh, the new alliance between Australia, UK, and the US, uh, and no doubt uh, this alliance of these three powerful countries uh, is of course targeted against uh, China in reaction to uh, Chinese action in the Indo-Pacific. So at this moment, China has not stated clearly uh, how it would react, but uh, we will see that uh, China, of course, will come up with a lot of. Uh, uh, responses that are critical against this uh, new trilateral uh, alliance, uh, especially uh, Australia uh, will be uh, equipped with nuclear power submarines by the US in the near future. Uh, and of course, China will be uh, critical about that. So in terms of Chinese action, in a sense that uh, uh, I would see that this is a reaction to what China has been doing the last 10 years, especially in the South China Sea, uh, artificial island, building artificial islands, the nine dash line claims, uh, using of uh, Chinese coast guard vessels, and of course more recently uh, the rising tensions over Taiwan, uh, air flags, uh, plus, uh, flying near Taiwan, and a lot of military exercises. So there are lots of worries about uh, Chinese intention uh, in South China Sea, especially in particular, and of course uh, Chinese is also uh, building a new air airport in Papua New Guinea, uh, right next door to Australia. So I will see this, um, this uh, Australia-UK-US alliance is more as a response uh, to what China has been doing in the last 10 years. Uh, I, uh, at this moment, I think China would come up with a lot of um, uh, voices uh, opposing this uh, latest alliance. But in terms of white uh, you know, direct action that we will undertake uh, is still too early uh, to see how China really will respond. Uh, and why nuclear submarines? Why are they figuring into this deal so much? All right. Uh, I think uh, Australia, Australia back in 2016 has signed a deal to procure 12 uh, Barracuda class submarines from the French. I think it's about 90 uh, US billion dollars and the latest news today, uh, the French are not happy because they're scrapping that deal. I think one of the reasons is that, as you can see, the Barracuda class submarines are diesel electric submarines. It has limited range. Uh, I think it's about 18,000 nautical miles. But more importantly, diesel electric submarines have limited endurance. It needs, uh, it can you know, be operational for three months, four months maximum, and then you're run out of diesel. Uh, you know, you still need to return to base to re-equip, to resupply, replenish your fuel. Whereas nuclear uh, powered submarines has limitless endurance. You know, it can run underwater uh, as long as the crew, uh, you know, can sustain that kind of uh, operational tempo. You know, it can run underwater for six months. You know, sometimes even up to eight months and nine months. Uh, because of that limitless endurance, operational tempo. And as you can see, the geographical uh, location of Australia, uh, for Australian submarines to sail, say, into the South China Sea in support of US freedom of network, oper freedom of network operations. And of course, Australia itself also on the free uh, and open uh, uh, global loose based order. Uh, you do need that kind of uh, long range and uh, long endurance capabilities for submarines. So nuclear submarines would give you that kind of nuclear power submarines will give you that kind of range and endurance. All right, if Australia were to work closely with the US, I assume they will be acquiring the Virginia class attack submarines. That will give them extra capability to carry uh, Tomahawk uh, land attack cruise missiles, which the Barracuda would be limited in that sense. 
Good to get your uh, thoughts on this, uh, Adam Long. Thanks for, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much.